Hello friends, uh, good evening from Iceland. I'm visiting uh, Karis Crater. I'm on a day tour. And we have more updates from the ongoing eruption in Iceland. This is not the current eruption, but it's a crater from <coughs> 5,000 years ago. There was eruption also here. And uh, as you know, or maybe not, lava did go over the hot water pipes. And I don't know what is the harm, if there is any harm, because now they have they, they have had hidden them deep inside to make sure lava wouldn't damage them, but we will see. But at least I know the, the electrical power lines got damaged, because they are on the ground. I don't know, electricity is still going through to Kaplovic, but the, to some extent the base of the electro power lines was damaged so we will see what happens next but we are going to save because it's fenced by big walls and uh, there is nothing happening there it's evacuated nobody is staying in blue lagoon now probably it will be closed for a few days we will see i'll show you now on the map so what is going on there and just wanted to show you also this crater because it's also a volcanic site in Iceland. On a nice sunny day, cold day, it was minus 15 in the morning. Yeah, this is uh, the view we have now here in the south of Iceland. And people are walking on the ice as you see there. Uh, that is not very smart because it's quite a deep lake in the bottom of the crater so now let's take a look on the maps and what is going on there so uh, lava is already reaching Blue Lagoon Park and you see it's running here right next to the parking by the road it's a few meters away from the parking lot to Blue Lagoon and it ran over the hot water pipes already uh, but they are buried deep in the ground uh, when it uh, did damage the pipes back in February, they made sure now that the pipes are hidden well deep in the ground to survive this eruption again. And it worked out well so far, but lava damaged uh, power lines, electrical power lines, as you know, which are in the same area. And now it went even further. It's already reaching Blue Lagoon Park, and as you see it says that the uh, lava is running right next to Blue Lagoon Parking and it's very likely to reach it very soon. This was published uh, a few minutes ago, 12-12. And, uh, and probably it's already at the parking. But by the time I publish this, it's uh, probably at the parking. You see how it's moving by the walls towards the parking. Yeah, so... Yeah, yeah, here you see it better. How lava is advancing along the walls. The walls really work it out this time. Blue Lagoon walls were overrun by the lava um, earlier this year. As you know, at one location they had to push hot water, uh, well, water on the lava. But now lava went along the wall, really work it out. Blue Lagoon survives because lava will, will not make it through the wall. It's unlikely because the walls are very high, but the parking is very close, and this is a problem. As you see, it had been everything had been evacuated. There are no cars on the parking, but lava is very close to reach it. Mm. Yes, those are the major news from Iceland. Road had been flooded, hot water pipes flooded, but survive in the ground. And now the parking is being threatened by the lava. <laughs> this is the map how lava had been moving towards the west and Blue Lagoon parking from the Storaskogfetl area. It went all around the wall basically towards the parking lot and it's right here now. Here it went over the road where uh, we had lava crossing the road earlier several times so that is not a new thing. Here it went over hot water pipes, 
and the electrical power lines and now it's reaching the park and this is the furthest extent of lava to the west of all 10 eruptions it even went longer than in february this is february lava and now it's already here as you saw but there are walls big walls here and the lagoon will survive but it will be surrounded by the lava from all the sides and the eruption is not expanding it's already contracting the fish is only three kilometers long the small eruption is not big the smallest probably the last one of time metaphysical is big and uh, it's coincides with escalation of war in ukraine now as you know putin and putin had been threatened in poland to strike poland with nuclear weapons the american uh, military base in the north of poland but yeah it's there is escalation of war also those eruptions come along with the ongoing war in ukraine one after another and they started right before the war started also so it's kind of a bell a warning probably to mankind to europe because everybody's following the eruptions in iceland too yeah those are major news from iceland be well god bless you all and protect you and guard you and be with you